I suppose I had the advantage of reading a fully formed script. I came much later to the party, and just that was my first introduction to the whole story. And it was just a, in ancient Rome. It's so hard to forget through. the image of. <laughs> Tracy, how are you? That hadn't ever been filmed oh, or adapted. Who said to me, "Okay, Neil, now you work with both of them. Who was better?" Michael or David, who's the better actor? And I had to say, actually... Well, when they wrote the book, uh, Terry and Neil both felt like it was a bit weird because everyone seemed to be getting along so well and they were writing about an apocalypse 30 years ago, sort of the end of the Cold War, the Berlin Wall had come down. Whereas now, as the TV series is coming out, things have all got a little bit more apocalyptic. Yeah, they? it feels like it could be seconds away, so it yeah. all feels terribly prescient now. If, well, I think if you want to drag a political lesson out of it, it's that there are two polar opposite fundamentalist standpoints of heaven and hell and the the two that have any chance of solving it are the ones that sort of try to meet in the middle we're both very bad at our jobs well, in quite. this uh, and but it's that you know that, that bonds us together and that's how we find our way through we always muddle through in the end right? they should be diametric opposites the an angel and a demon and yet they've actually got more much more in common than they have apart uh, I, I was just thrilled to be on board from that moment and then of course I, I've very, now read the book I've now been fully immersed in the world of, of Gaiman and Pratchett and I, I never want to leave and for years I was one of those people going I hope whoever does this doesn't mess it up yeah. and now we are those people yes yeah. yes so, and I absolutely get it having been a fan yeah. of many things myself you, you know these things are precious and important and stories are what make us so yes it's a great responsibility but luckily we had the cover of Neil Gaiman writing our scripts and being our showrunner so so you know any decision we make it, it's passed by the boss yeah. Neil Gaiman if he tells me to I'll do it <laughs> yeah. we're gonna do a ceremonial shade <laughs> on stage tonight before it starts Terry Pratchett and I were talking about what concerned us at the time um, and it actually seems to and the things that concerned us 30 years ago haven't been fixed they haven't gone away and they're still as much here as they were if not more so um, back when we wrote the book, we, uh, you know, Glasnost had happened, everything was, Berlin Wall had come down. I remember we went back in and put a line into the book about how weird it was that all of this apocalyptic stuff was happening when everybody had been getting on so well. Um, I wish I could say that about now. You know, I would love to be in a world in which I looked at a government, any government, and thought, ah, yes, you know what you're doing. And instead, on the Today Show this morning, I sat next to our foreign secretary, and the, the aura of fear coming off him was palpable. It's a good time to launch a story about how the world is worth saving and maybe about how, pe how bridges can be divided. The idea that we have an angel and a demon working together and witches and witch finders coming together. Maybe, maybe we can have a bit more of that in the world. I think Terry right now would be having the time of his life and he'd probably comp be complaining about the lack of nuns.